Welcome to the end of our winter van life adventures. We've been in Serbia for the last three weeks as we make our way back home after a winter exploring Turkey in our camper van. We adopted a dog within our first few days here, wild camped on the Danube, hunted for bears in Tara National Park, and now, finally, we're on our way back home about to get ready for the trip of a lifetime this summer. Subscribe and join us for the ride with new videos every Sunday. Guys, for the past eight months we've been on the road in Europe. We have driven Sofia all the way down through France, through Greece, across into Turkey where we spent six months. Picked up Scout, our little Turkish rescue. We've now come back through Greece, Bulgaria, Serbia, and then in a couple of weeks time we're gonna be back in the UK getting ready to ship Sofia to Canada to drive her all the way down to Mexico. But last week we were in the west of Serbia at Tara National Park. We've now driven all the way north. We're in a place called Fruska Gora, which is Serbia's oldest national park. Just think like thick, thick forests, wildflowers, monasteries, vineyards. It's beautiful here. And it's gonna be a perfect place to spend our last week in Serbia and really the last week of this entire winter Turkey trip. Eight months has gone by like that. Can't believe we've literally been away for nine months. It's gone so fast. We've picked up Scout, he's joined us and we're ending off in Serbia. There's no better way, I don't think. It's been an absolute fantastic trip and I can't wait to get home, see everyone, and also start the next trip. I literally cannot believe we've decided to ship to Canada and drive all the way to Mexico. It's just, I can't <laughs> wait, cannot wait. For our last day in Serbia, we came to explore Fruska Gora. It's called the Jewel of Serbia, with 90% of it covered in linden, oak, and beech forest, and home to 200 protected plant species. Nestled in the trees lie 16 Orthodox monasteries, giving it the official title of Holy Mountain. It's a lovely little shrine that people have left money and stuff in. Little fresh water spring as well. Oh, it smells, <laughs> smells so fresh. Really beautiful little monastery just tucked away into the forest. Does anyone else play the yellow car game? If you didn't know, the yellow car game is if, when you're driving, if you see a yellow car, you have to punch the person next to you. Yep, and we and spent all the time, <laughs> and then we had to stop because I was winning a lot. Not true. And Not true it looks like it's starting back up again, doesn't it now? Yeah, and who's winning now? Wow, you wait, babe, you wait, you wait, you know what happens. Yeah, I get a dead leg because you punch me so hard. <laughs> It doesn't matter where we go in Serbia, it just continues to like blow us away. Every week we've seen like completely different landscapes, but every time it's been picturesque, so beautiful. This walk through the forest is just amazing. Wow. Oh, that's So you might think how interesting can like just a forested national park be but the, it is just one of the most beautiful places that we've ever hiked. We used our trusty All Trails app to find this walk and it had 35 five star reviews and I can totally see why. This is probably one of the most beautiful hikes we've ever done. Every single part of this walk has been beautiful and like worth the walk in its own right. It's like everywhere. We feel like Owen Wilson, we're like wow, 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 wow. And we started at lunchtime, so we're now getting like the late afternoon sun through the trees, and it is just magic. I really enjoyed that, that was really good, it was really nice. These guys loved it, they're both. Shatter, they've put on straight to sleep. Whoa. What the hell has happened to that? So just on the way back, we've come across what looks like a bombed out 
like communications tower. Check this out. Look at that. It literally just appeared out of nowhere as we came around the corner. So if anyone knows what it was or why it looks like that, please let us know, we'd be really interested. I'm guessing it's from the wall. Well, no, I don't know. Uh, it's, that, it looks like it's had a big chunk taken out of it. Look at that. Just seeing that through the trees, it looks like something from like a sci-fi film or something. But yeah, I definitely think that surely must be a bomb or an asteroid. <laughs> Are you sad that Serbia is coming to an end? I'm very sad. I don't feel like we've had given this country the time it deserves. It's been amazing. But today is our last day in Serbia. Ben's mum is actually working in Munich and we are going to be passing Munich on our way back. And I think we would be missing her by a couple of days. So we're actually going to just speed up our time so that we can catch her in Munich. That's my alarm. <laughs> oh, and you have a go at me, don't you? Today is our last day in Serbia. We're going to go and visit a really beautiful little town. We are scout. Come here. So today is our last day in Serbia. We're going to be visiting a little town that's only about 15 minutes from here. And then we are making tracks to the Hungary border, which we're hoping to cross tomorrow morning. The journey home then like officially begins because after today, we are just going to be heading back. And that's it. The end of the trip. Start of a new exciting one though. So this video is the last one of the nine month travel adventure. Next week, we're gonna do like a big Q and A video. So if anybody's got any questions about the past nine months travel, the dogs, us, our Canada to Mexico trip, drop them in the comments below and then we'll pick them all out next week because we're gonna do a nice Q and A and a sort of a, maybe like a montage of what we've done. Uh, a roundup of A roundup. Yeah. I don't know what because Chess does all the editing so I don't know how <laughs> easy that is to do. But yeah, but Q and A definitely next week. Okay, thanks for signing me up for the montage, babe. You're welcome. <laughs> So, these two have been asleep, and as soon as you pick up the camera, they must go, like, oh, the camera's up. Let's, let's make as much noise as possible, eh? Hey, come here, come here. So we've been parked up by chance next to apparently one of the prettiest towns in Serbia called Sremski Karlovci. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's meant to be a really beautiful town, so I think the plan is we're going to have a little wander around there, maybe grab some lunch. This area of Serbia is also really famous for its wine, so maybe pick up a bottle or two and yeah, just have a, a lovely little stroll to see what we can find. Lying on the banks of the Danube, it's said that every building, house and street in this little town has its own hidden story to tell. On one quiet back street, a friendly face greeted me and gave me a little song to take home. I have, I have not. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Thank you, thank you. Do you wish Tom Jones? Tom Jones, Tom yeah, Jones. the Serbian Tom oh, Jones. Right. This region is famous for its sweet wine. I wasn't sure if I'd like it or not, and oh my god, it is amazing. It's like a syrupy, kind of almost like mulled wine flavour. I've decided sweet wine is one of my favorite types of wine. It's so good. So it's three o'clock in the afternoon. We are about an hour away from the border. We thought, what's the point of just driving an hour and, and waiting to go over tomorrow? We might as well cross the border today, drive an hour or two into Hungary, Makes sense, so we're gonna do that. But before we do that, I need to buy a vignette, because you need a vignette in Hungary and Austria. 
for the motorways. For the motorways, and we're going to be crossing both those over the next 24 hours. So we get the hungry one first, and then I'll get the Austrian one tomorrow. Okay, well that is it. We are officially leaving Serbia. That town was a really lovely little place just to spend a couple of hours. Got serenaded, got to sample the local wine, which was amazing. Probably not if you don't like sweet wine, but if you like sweet wine, it was so, so good. And yeah, now we are on our way to Hungary. So yeah, this is gonna be our last border crossing before the ones back to the UK. Another easy border crossing down. We're now officially in Hungary. That was literally the easiest border crossing ever. Yeah, first up tonight, just outside Budapest. Yeah. I'm feeling a bit like... Hungover, like, somebody's had too much wine. I'm feeling a bit like headed from that wine to be honest. I'm a bit like... All right, everyone, so we've made it to our first park up in Hungary. We've found ourselves in the middle of this massive, massive forest. It has major Blair Witch vibes. It's going to be pretty creepy at night here, I think. So with a few kilometers down this sandy track, which just goes through like really thick, dense forest, looks like it's like a a logging track or something but then opens out into this huge picnic area there's picnic tables there's like kids play area there's like some sort of like sand dune here with like buggy like dune buggy tracks on it and stuff but yeah definitely definitely major Blair Witch vibes here are you cold? a big jelly bean it's a big jelly <laughs> <laughs> There's a cup of tea for you. Thank you very much. Well, if Scout can stop, Scout keeps looking over there and just barking. Something is spooking him. <laughs> but anyway, we're sat out here with a cup of tea, just in the middle of these woods. I can see the sunset, like turning the sky golden just through the trees over there. And just thinking it's crazy that we're going to be seeing your mum in like two days' time. I know. Like, it's a I know it's amazing how it like worked out. Like we were passing through Germany while she was on her yeah. last day at work there. Worked out so well, and like we haven't seen our friends and family in like nine months now, and I cannot wait to give them a big squeeze when we get back. We really do miss friends and family when we're away. It is always, always the hardest bit. One, two, good boy, River. Up, balls up. Oh, there we go. Good morning, everyone. We survived our night in the Blair Witch Woods. It's a shame really that we're moving on today because this is such a beautiful, peaceful spot. Could easily stay here for a few days. And the plan today is to head into Austria, probably put about a four hour driving stint in and see where we end up. We drove through the day on the very long, straight and boring road all the way from Hungary into Austria, eventually finding a quiet village to call home for the night. That was one hell of a drive through Hungary into Austria. One of the most longest, boring, boring roads that we've ever driven on. If you see it on the map, it is just a straight line through Hungary into Austria. Um, and it isn't the most exciting road we've ever been on. Uh, the M5, and it also mimics the boring <laughs> M5 back in the UK. It really does. But we've made it to this cute little Austrian kind of village. We're parked up here just in front of this huge green space. It's the first time Scout, I think, has ever been on like cut grass and he just keeps rolling in it and he's loving life. Just a nice little spot to call home for the night as we make our way up towards Munich. I think we're only about three and a bit hours away now, so making good progress. Come <laughs> 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 Oh, come on. Oh, it feels like it's gonna rain. Look, it's all dark and cloudy and stormy behind. It's weird being back into sort of what feels like homish, if that makes sense. Yeah, it feels very familiar now. Familiar, it? that's it, yeah, very familiar. Well, guys, that's it. This is the last video of our trip. It is. We just wanted to say a huge thank you for coming along with us and we've had so much fun this past nine months and one of the best parts of it has been sharing it with you guys in the comments and in the messages so thank you so much for being such a big part of this trip with us and we hope you're as excited as we are for the Canada Mexico trip yep as we said earlier or as I said earlier oh damn <laughs> no no come, come back don't move don't move 
Next week we're going to do a kind of roundup big Q&A video. So again, if you've got any questions, just put them in the comments below. And on that note, guys, we shall catch you next Sunday. See you later. Bye. Bye.